Today we're talking about the worst excuse of a prank channel that's ever grazed TikTok as he went on to Pierce Morgan the other day for some reason and simply embarrassed himself. This is the guy we covered the other week who essentially did a home invasion for attention on TikTok. He stole an old woman's dog and then he shoved a man in the street amongst many other things. He also had an entire series on his TikTok where he ran up to people and asked them if they wanted to I stop bro. Hey yo. You know, the whole nine yards of being an absolute moron for attention on TikTok. And the last thing that we knew about him was he essentially turned himself into the police in the UK. But I didn't know until today about what kind of punishment he actually received. But up in the big man them. Free Mizzy. Free Mizzy, bro. Free Mizzy. Free Mizzy. Free Mizzy, bro. Free Mizzy, bro. Last statement. We outside. Share the message. Share the message. And there's no upside for this guy other than attention. He's not making money from this. Because he can't keep a social media account from getting banned long enough to get monetized in the first place. And sponsors aren't even going to think about this guy. So he's on a complete self-destructive spiral just for that sweet dopamine hit of someone giving him an ounce of attention on TikTok. So naturally, because this guy is so starved for attention, when Pierce Morgan invited him onto his show to make him look like an absolute fool, he still accepted, even though he had no grounds to stand stand on for his own actions, which led to him having a complete meltdown when finally confronted. At first, many young people see social media stardom as a fast track to fame and fortune. People you've never heard of can become very famous and very wealthy very quickly from the business of bagging clicks and followers online. Don't be misled by peers here. Mizzy is broke. Like YouTube has been very fair with their monetization system over the last couple of years. And this guy is not getting monetized on any of the videos that he is going viral for because they're harassment. Instagram's monetization program is kind of a joke right now. And then you have Facebook's monetization program. But the problem for him there is the bar to get monetized on Facebook is too high for him to reach because he'll get banned before he even gets close to it. And then finally, you have TikTok's monetization system, which is really just terrible from a creator standpoint. I've heard of people getting $3 for a million views on TikTok. That was a slight sidetrack, but I wanted to give my point of view from someone who actually understands the creator business. This week, a social media prankster named Mizzy has generated headlines and abject outrage for so-called pranks which mostly involved just terrorizing innocent bystanders. Well, as public anger grew this week, London's Met Police announced they were looking for Mizzy, real name Bakari Bronzegaro. The law caught up with him, yes, and today he was fined £365 and given a criminal behavior order, which is supposed to ban him from posting to social media without the written permission of the people in his video. Well, that is a laughably weak punishment. I guess he's technically in the best country possible for his style of content. I'm curious about what has been motivating you to terrorize the people around where you live. Why do mm, it? I wouldn't really call it terrorizing. I would just call it more having fun. But let's get this out of the way first. I apologize. You see this situation that blew up on the internet, the walking into random houses. The next day, I apologized to the woman because I felt bad in it. Like deep in her social media, like it went deep in her social media. That's why I didn't record it. She recorded me apologizing to her. I told her sorry, and she explained that she was terrified because her children were in the house. And I understood. What were you it. doing in the house? Was I doing in the house? I don't know. It was a stupid video. Like I got hair pressure to to say. I don't want to say it like in that way, but well, somebody else's fault. I'm not, I'm not blaming no one else. I mean, you break into the house with a, with, a, with a woman and a husband and two I young, went into the house on my kids. own accord. No, I'm just it's saying, you, okay, you went through their door, mm -hmm. right? But it's not your house. You're not supposed to be in there. Oh, no. You are causing a lot of alarm to that poor woman and to her children who are in the house. I love that as soon as he's out of his brain dead circle of yes men, all he can really do is make faces because he realizes, oh, I have no ground to stand on here. And this is the only thing I can do to deflect. You then terrorize this poor elderly woman and take a dog away and traumatize her. Oh, you run so the story about that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let no, me you speak. Let, no, no. Yeah, because no, no, no. Let me speak. No, no. Let me speak. No, no, no. I'm, no, no. I'm going to tell you. Let me talk you, about that situation. No, for the viewers who, no, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. For the viewers wait a minute. who, for the viewers who don't know what you've done. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell hold them. Up, so you hold on. right now. No, you can hold on. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. know what's been happening. Don't just keep talking like an idiot. Right? Don't. Let me finish what the viewers don't know you did. I. You go up. And you do these things. You take a dog from an elderly woman. You leapfrog over the top of an orthodox Jewish man standing at the side of the road, minding his own business. You go up to women in the street and say, do you want to... It wasn't a woman, it was a man. And she even There says, were also women that you did this to. There was a woman there, but I only say it to the man. Right. 
You shouldn't be saying it to anybody. Fair enough. Then. Why are you? Why, in the name of so-called prankster humour, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? Not necessarily, but you can say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. <laughs> That is actually the worst counterpoint to have. Because normal people have compassion for each other. Most people want to take care of the elderly. They don't want to steal their dogs and potentially give them a heart attack for doing so. And naturally, when people see that, they're going to be outraged. Like his entire defense here is, oh, it didn't happen to you, so why are you mad? And that's how I see it as. What do you mean? People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care, uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something it's to say. It's not a mad thing. It's, it's just, the mad thing. It's, it's the a, mad thing. You, you, no. you, already, you, already disc- you already said it was the mad thing. It's, it's a mad a, thing. No, it's, it's not mad. mad. It's, it's moronic. Mad. It's the kind of thing anybody could do. Mm. And you do it for kicks and you do it for clicks. And you get your little moment on TikTok and presumably your peer group that you referenced earlier, they all think, good on you. Good on you. Mizzy, this is hilarious. Meanwhile, some poor woman thinks you've stolen her dog and is traumatized. Another woman has a two kids and you're bursting into their house uninvited. Dude's starting to get angry because he looks like a moron. Like every time Piers mentioned his terrible pranks, he just wants to move on. Because I think he also hates the content he makes as well, but that's the only way he knows how to get attention. All right. But you're jumping on Jewish people. See, I was right, jumping you're already... on Jewish people. Hold up, wait yeah, a minute. Wait, 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 no, no, stop. You did. Cool, it was a Jewish person. Cool. But there was a trend going around on TikTok called 300. I've done this to numerous people, black people, white people, age, any mm. types of people. I don't discriminate. So don't stop saying orthodox Jewish person like I only targeted him and it was only him that I went for. Mm. Why are you not. targeting anybody in that well, what do you mean? Why am I targeting anyone? It was a trend. Mm. It was a trend. I just done it for a trend. What's it's the trend? Class. What's the trend? 300. Jump over someone at the time of the beat. However much you scare them. Uh, however much you scared him. I didn't even know he did this video today, but that wasn't even an attempt to jump over the guy. Any person in the shoes of the person who was being pranked here would think they're being attacked. There's what's no the sub story? There's no sub story. Well, go on then. What's, your, story about my what's so bad about your life media, that makes you do this? Life, I, I, I just do it for fun. On or off camera, I do my thing. Tell me about your life. What justifies this? What do you What's happened to life? you that makes you think you're justified in doing this? What do you mean, tell me about my life? Well, you said you, you said you know nothing about your black. life. Tell me about your life. I'm get, you're trying to get on to you because I'm black. Because I guarantee you. Because you're black. Person, yeah. I guarantee you. I don't a give a person, damn about your skin oh, color. Really? No. Why would really I care cares? of what color your skin is? Really? I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. I think you're an idiot too. That's fine. You're perfectly entitled to. Yeah. This is you. This show's called Uncensored. I think you're an idiot for what you've been doing. I also think you're an idiot for playing the race guy when oh, no one's really? mentioned your skin colour. Really? Okay, you don't have to mention it to... I don't to care about your skin colour, Lizzie. Aye. Aye. I care about the fact that you've been terrorising all these people for a sustained period of time. There he's making the faces again because he has no ground to stand on. There's nothing he can say to justify what he did and he's still sitting there because he just wants the attention. And I guess for him, it just doesn't matter that he's being shown as the biggest moron in the UK. I also care about the fact you've only got a tiny fine today, no deterrent to you whatsoever. You don't show any real remorse. Remorse. You don't UK, really care, do you? The UK laws are weak, simple as. And that's huh? not, the UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's not mm. my fault. I love how he's technically advocating for harsher laws here. When the guy who's committing the crimes is advocating for harsher laws, that kind of says something. That's not my fault. Like in America, what, do your fam- what do your family make of what you've been doing? Oh, what do my family make? Well, I don't chat to my mom anymore. And Why not? Why not? Because I just don't talk to her. It's irrelevant to you, but I just don't chat to her, innit? Mm-hmm. And well, else? My sisters are calm, but like, obviously they don't fully commend what I do, but... Do any of your family condemn what you do? No, of course not. Like, obviously... They think certain, it's all perfectly normal? No, there's certain videos that they'll be like, no, you can't be doing that. Like, especially just walking into the random houses one. Certainly not. But that was more of a spur of the moment thing. I just got egged on and my ego got a hold of me. And I realised that at that moment, and that's why I went to apologise the next day, after the, it all blew up out of proportion, and I fa- felt, like, bad. It didn't get blown out of proportion. The internet saw this and wanted to make it very clear that, hey, we shouldn't tolerate nor reward this kind of behaviour. I don't think you felt bad. Okay, well, you can I think say you felt that. Bad. You can say that. I'm I think you, you felt bad. No, see, you're no, to me. Why are you talking? You... I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm don't... talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, it's fine. I'm talking. I'm talking. Carry on being an idiot. Okay, yeah. okay, we are signing the districts every time. I'm actually not going to call you mis- 
Gizzy, Gizzy. It's, it's obviously a stage. I'll call you Bakari Bronze, right? All right. Bakari Bronze, let's try and talk to each other as human beings. All right, Piers All right. Morgan. Yeah, I'm trying to understand why there's no real remorse here. Do why do you not no understand what, is, what, what, do you mean, why what the no consequences room? of your I went to go apologise off social media. I could have recorded that apology and that would have been another viral video, whether it's hate or whatever. Literally, hate brings money. Hate brings likes. Hate brings views. It doesn't matter. He's lying here. Hate does not bring him money. Again, I don't think this guy makes any money from social media. It's simply an easy way for him to get attention. Love or hate, it still brings views. Why do you prefer to do the hateful stuff? I don't, not like I prefer to do the hateful stuff. It's just like, it's easier to do the hateful stuff. And there he admits it. Like he can't find a way to provide value via his content. All he knows how to do is be a net negative on society with his pranks to entertain edgy kids. Why are you laughing? And you fun? Obviously, I don't think it's fun, but you're a funny person. You do think it's funny. <laughs> you're a funny person. You do, I've seen the videos. You do obviously, think this is really funny. At the time, I think it's funny. My fan base thinks it's funny and it's we outside, isn't it? It's a movement. But what's the deep down, what's the movement? Deep down, being free and not letting anyone tell you nothing. That's why I can do all of this stuff. I have. Well, that's a tough title to go for for even him. But there's nothing likable about his content. Whatever you say, in it. Whatever you say. Please. Most people watch this will have never heard of you. And Whatever care you even say. Less. Well, now they are. That you just brought it to me. Now no, they are. They'll just, think, they are. They'll just look at the way you're behaving now and they'll think, yeah, he's a complete moron. All right, and you're a complete moron. You keep cutting me, interrupting me when I'm trying to talk. Because you keep talking in this animated manner, trying to stop animated me asking man. you any questions. It's interesting that he chose to show up to this show because I mean, I mean, like there is little to no upside for him being here other than I guess what he's about to promote. But I'm curious, who in your family is there to tell you this? Why is do you need to go to my family? I'm my own person, so talk about me. Because you don't no 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 because you don't yeah. Don't... Talk about me, not my family. Yes, but here's the problem. What's the you problem? Are, you are clearly a product of your upbringing. No, I'm not. I'm my own person. I've always been my own person. Mm. I'm literally... You've had no one to tell you this is wrong. Of course, people have told me it's wrong. M family, friends, everyone's told Who? me it's wrong. Who's told you it's what wrong? What do you mean? My own mother told me it's wrong. There's, there's been situations between me and my mom where right. I didn't So your mother doesn't like what you're doing? Of course, I, I, yeah. So why don't you stop doing it? Because my mother told why? me to stop doing something. Okay, and that's your mother. It. You listen to your mother. You listen to somebody else. I'm my own person. I'm, I, I'm legally an adult mm. now, so I can do what I want. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? Twitter, Mizzy is banned and I'm going to be on Twitch. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to start streaming on Twitch, IRL streams, gaming streams. My Twitch is Mizzy is live if you want to get at that. So he basically has a meltdown for the entire world to see while being interviewed so he can promote his Twitch account, which I'm assuming is the final social media he hasn't been banned from. And if we know anything about Twitch, I would go as far to say as Twitch is probably the easiest social media platform to get banned off of. So maybe he has two weeks, but he was given a final chance to apologize. But yeah, Do you want to try and come up with a sincere apology or not? No, I don't need to come up with no sincere apology. I already okay. have my own remorse and I already, I already you don't have, have any remorse, have do you? What do you mean? Okay, then whatever you... To you, it's all a bit of a jape. And if you steal some uh -huh. old woman's dog, it's, it's all a bit, a bit of fun. Joke. If you jump on a Jewish man, it's all a bit of fun. If you run into people's houses with young kids and terrorize them, fun. it's all a bit of fun. But what I'm saying to you, to you nothing is, really matters. What right? I'm saying to you is there's been plans to change up everything. Can you, you you're just no help in it. You just talk your own thing. You have mm. your own set morals and yeah. So that's you. No, it's not about morality. I just okay, think, cool, cool, cool. I just think, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm still talking, I'm still talking. You yeah, interrupt I'm me again, again, please. Okay, Piers Morgan, why'd you keep interrupting me? Let me tell me, you, bro. we're going to put both of ourselves out of this misery and we'll just end it there because really? you are, you should end it as I said at the like, start, bro. you're just a complete moron. I haven't seen anything from Piers Morgan in years, but I would say this was a W for Piers for getting this guy onto his show to confront him in the first place. If there's a takeaway from this, don't break into people's houses, steal old ladies' dogs, and shove people in the street and then show up on cable. TV to try to defend yourself. You just look like a moron. But speaking of terrible decisions, this woman decided to marry a fan to scam him and she got caught for it and extradited to the US to be charged for it. It's all alleged now, but it's an absolute wild story. So I definitely recommend checking it out here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.